Hello everybody, how are we all? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, as you can tell by the title, is quite an intense one. We're going to be doing an autumnal wardrobe clear out. I've had this on my to-do list for the, well, too long. I had a bit of a refresh when I first moved house in July, August time, and I filtered through everything that I was willing to take. But obviously, as the seasons have changed, today it's absolutely chucking it down. So I thought, you know what? Now is the time. I'm going to be pulling everything out of my wardrobe that is remotely summer related. T-shirts that aren't particularly very autumn appropriate, shirts, shorts, sandals, all that jazz is going to be coming out, going into storage, which is under my bed, and then everything that I had from last year, we're talking sweaters, chunky knits, trousers, that kind of thing is going to be going in the wardrobe. As you can see, it's not looking too great. This wardrobe is absolutely jam-packed. So I thought, it's going to take a while. Do bear with me. I'm going to be putting some tips, as I have done before, on the screen if you do want to check that out. I have filmed a video before where I did a wardrobe clear out and it was really successful and a lot of you enjoyed it. I'm going to be sharing some tips on what I find useful, but if you would like to do it along at home as well, please do. It makes you feel great. So yeah, essentially, I'm going to be pulling everything out of here. Wish me luck. When I'm doing a wardrobe clear out, I usually think of three things. I think of what I want to keep, what I want to donate, and what I potentially want to sell or re-gift to someone else. I know that can come into the donate pile. And also things that are, um, can't be fixed, sewn, amended, and have to just be thrown away. Obviously, sustainability is on everyone's mind at the minute and I am going to be trying to minimise how much that does come into my wardrobe in terms of hauls, purchases, that kind of thing. I'm very fortunate in them with my job I do get sent things every now and then, so hence why my clothing collection might look big to some people. Some people might think it's nothing at all, but for me this is a lot. This is the only clothes storage space I have, minus a couple of jackets we have in a communal cupboard in the hallway, and this is literally it. So. Whenever I'm doing something like this, I think the best thing to do is just to pull it all out. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so for you guys a little bit closer to you can see, I always think it's a really good idea as well, especially with these kind of freestanding wardrobes. They do collect dust on the shelves, so if you get a little bit of antibacterial spray that's preferably unscented, and just give it a bit of a wipe out, really, really great idea. Um, obviously the storage that we have in this house is... Well, I bought this wardrobe and the flat was unfurnished, but we're kind of renting, so we can't have any built-in wardrobes, which would be brilliant. They're a lot more efficient, a lot more effective in terms of you can use the full length of your room. This is all we're working with, and you know what? It works. For a whole wardrobe, it's a pretty big wardrobe, you can fit a lot in it, which is usually a good thing, but for me it's a bad thing because I fill it. So I'm going to go grab some antibacterial spray, a cloth, and I'll be back with you in a second. So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe out now. It's a really great idea just to do this every now and then. Obviously, you can get like fibers and things that just completely build up inside of your wardrobe. So just giving it a little wipe refreshes it and makes it look a lot more clean. Now that's done, what I'm going to be thinking about is everything that goes back into my wardrobe, do I love it? Is it seasonally appropriate? Or could it be better off to a new home, either to charity, to a friend, a family member, or if it's of a high value item, something that could be sold onto another person who's going to love it if I don't love it anymore. A lot of the pieces that are actually in this section of my wardrobe are suit and jackets, and well, that's a tree of suit and jackets. All my longer coats do go, like I said, in the cupboard in the hallway. So, everything I've kind of got going on in the minute, I really do love, but there are maybe some pieces that can definitely go. This is actually how bad it's gotten. I've put two things on one hanger because I didn't have enough hangers. Um, I love this jacket. It's very much an autumnal, autumnal jacket. Very nice. That's definitely going back in. Big fan of that. Second is this lovely jacket as well. This is from Farah. Really, really nice. Uh, it's a good autumn winter jacket. It's probably better for winter actually because it is quite thick. But yeah, again, really, really love that. So that's going back in for sure. Very good autumnal piece. Now, this River Island jacket I actually don't find myself reaching for. It's part of a suit, but this is actually a navy jacket and the suit trousers are black. I think they might have um, maybe messed up when they sent this out, but this might be a potential. I'm going to pop that to the side. A black denim jacket, always a good idea, a good staple to have. Now we're getting into suit and tailor, and anything that I do think maybe I need to try on a potentially question, I'm going to pop to one side. This River Island jacket's really nice, however it does have a stain on the neck collar again, so maybe potentially might be popping that to the side. This super dry jacket is very nice. It's quite chunky and it does take up a lot of room, but I do like it, so that's going back. This bomber jacket, again, really nice. Probably good for some of these, so that's going to go in the storage. And this denim jacket, again, I feel like was more of a summer piece. I maybe might be able to get some autumnal use out of it, 
So we might put that in back in as a maybe. I think one black denim and one lighter denim is always a good idea. And they don't really take up much room. This is a Farrah jacket again, and it's corduroy. Really, really nice. Um, I think this is a very new piece that's so going to go back into the wardrobe. Not really doing a great job of condensing this down so far, are we? Got a suede jacket here that's absolutely lovely. This is New Look Men. Very, very nice, but I do have a very similar one, so I think this might have to go to charity. We have two more jackets here that I absolutely love. This one is from Primark. But I, you know what? I haven't actually wore this in quite some time, so this might potentially be a one to donate. This jacket is from ASOS, a featured in a recent haul, and I absolutely love it. It's a real suede bike jacket, so that's going to go in. Let's put that with that to make it a bit more tonal. It's perfect. This set is from River Island. It's really, really nice, but again, I don't actually think it fits me that well. I'm definitely going to try this on and question it, but um, yeah, maybe that's a maybe piece. We have a white denim jacket here. Really, really nice, but again, definitely a summer piece. That's going to go into the summer pile. Everything that I have for summer, I put either under my bed in storage, or I put it in a vacuum bag and I pop it in the cupboard that we have. So um, it's not away and forgotten about, it's just putting away for the season. So that's looking good, so it's kind of, I'd say, a third of the way is just jackets and outerwear. You can tell I really love the colour black and navy. Um, and the rest is going to be suiting. I do have a lot of suiting, as you may say on my Instagram. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I'm going to be linking it here and down below. I do feature a lot of suiting on my Instagram because I do love suits, and I do wear them quite a lot. However, there are a few in here that I haven't worn for quite some time, so it's time to filter it down. This first suit that I'm definitely going to put back in is from Burton. And this is the suit that I wore to the Blogosphere magazine and I absolutely loved it. It was possibly one of my favourite suits I've ever wore. It was such fond memories because that evening was so much fun. It was just amazing. So yeah, that suit's definitely gone back in. Absolutely love that. It's always a good idea as well just to button up your suits just to make them a little bit more streamlined. This is a Mark Darcy three-piece suit as well. Again, very similar to the Czech. I do love the suit a lot. It's double breasted, it's got the waistcoat. One of my favourite suits as well, so that's going to go back in. This is just a classic black um, top man suit. It's got the nice um, velvet lapel. Absolutely love this. Always good to have one classic black suit just for real smart, formal occasions. I love that suit. This is from Moss Bros and it is a double breasted suit. It's probably more aimed at the summer market, but I do sometimes get a wear out of this in autumn winter so that's going to go back into this is a really nice new in addition as well it's quite a different print and i really like it i think with the contrasting pair of trousers that'd be lovely this is from quiz man so that's going to go back into and that's it that's all my suit and done do you know what i'm feeling really good about that we've got one two three four five six seven okay so we've got eight suits which might seem a little bit excessive but when you think about it that's five suits if you were working a nine to five Monday to friday job and three for occasions I think that's too bad. And this is my jackets. I feel like that's a very nice looking streamlined pile of jackets. That's brilliant. Another very useful tip I was just about to fold this jacket up to pop it in the charity pile. And I felt um, something in the pocket and there was an Oyster card in there which is used for transport. And a pair of very expensive sunglasses that I thought I'd lost. So there we are. Check your pockets before you donate. I once read that someone found a jacket in a charity store that had two £50 notes in. Genius. Absolute genius. So yeah, that's, that's that full part of the section of the wardrobe done. Now underneath we do have another whole section which is where I keep shoes. Um, we've kind of had a mix of shoes going on in here, so I'm going to lower you guys down so you can see what's going on. Okay, so in this part of the wardrobe we do have two sections. Now I'm thinking it's probably not the best idea to have just all shoes in here because it's just quite excessive. So I think I'm just going to do this layer for shoes and this could be just be good for like an extra section for chunky knitwear because obviously knitwear takes up a lot more space than t-shirts and shirts. There are some pieces that I'm going to be popping away into storage because I no longer um, need them. So some boat shoes, these are definitely a summer piece, they're going away. Some more boat shoes, lovely, but they are for summer. I've got a pair of classic double uh, strap, monk strap, sorry, um, black pin shoes. They're perfect, so they're going to go in there. Some brown leather outdoor loafers, very, very nice, but again, very summer, so they're going to go my Birkenstock-esque sandals, again, lovely, but they're going to go away. I have a pair of black loafers that I did feature in a Primark call recently. They're great. Very good, smart summer shoe. My Vans, these are some classic white Vans. Really, really nice, but again, more of a summer shoe, so they're going to go into storage. I have my Ted Baker smarter double-breasted shoes. Again, perfect for autumn, winter, so they're going to go away in there. I do keep my shoes in boxes. I just feel like it's nicer and makes it less 
smelly. <laughs> Not that my feet do particularly smell, but if I'm keeping shoes in my wardrobe with my cords, I want them to be contained. And these are just my Alexander McQueen trainers. Absolutely love these. You can probably do with a bit of a wash to be fair, but um, yeah, I use, I wear these all year round. I bought them in, I think around March, April time, and I've worn them ever since. So yeah, perfect. I'll put that on my to do list to get those clean. Set forth over in there, and then loafers can just go in there, which is perfect. I have a pair of my Calvin Klein trainers. I actually haven't worn these in forever. I'm really questioning whether I actually do want to just re-gift these to someone else. They are really nice, but I feel like I've just gone out of the style of chunky trainer. I'm really glad I didn't invest in something ridiculously expensive when I did. So um, yeah, maybe sell those. And the last pair of shoes is going in from a brand called Vivant. These are a suede Chelsea boot. They're really, really nice. Got a very like thick, rugged sole on them. Really nice, I think, maybe for autumn when it doesn't rain, because suede and rain don't agree. But um, yeah, I'm gonna keep those in the dust bag and pop those in there, which is perfect. Amazing, that's literally everything. Now we're gonna tackle these two drawers. This is full of summer clothes that I don't even need to go through. I know it's all summer, so it can all come out and go into a box. And then this is my loungewear, which I actually think is a tiny bit excessive, but everything in here I do seem to wear quite a lot. So yeah, we're not gonna to touch that drawer, but this drawer is definitely all getting emptied, ready for some knitwear to go in. So under my bed, I'm really lucky. Let me just pull it back. I do have a lot of underbed storage, which is literally perfect. I have these boxes which um, I always got two Christmas jumpers in, and they were empty for the time being, but now I'm gonna pull out anything that is remotely festive and pop all of my summer gear away and then literally just slide it back under the bed, so that's perfect. Christmas jumpers maybe can stay in there because I won't need these for a couple of months. And I just remember that I had another box under here that is full of knitwear too, so we can pull this one back out, which is brilliant, and this one too, which is full. We can pull that out too. So casually The great thing about these storage boxes as well is that once you take everything out that is autumnal-wise, these are already chunky so you have a lot more room for your summer stuff. Um, and I folded all of these away and I put one of those linen sheets in just to make it nice and fresh. And these smell good as new as if they've just been washed which is perfect. This is my favourite season whenever anything gets remotely nice and knitted. I just love knitted jumpers um, and it's really nice to kind of remember what you have. These are perfect. I think this is a H&M number. It's like a nice grey cashmere. This is like a chunky cable knit. I'll move all of those into my current wardrobe and move the rest of my summer items so in here. In terms of knitwear now, all of the room that I'm going to have is going to be here, which is perfect. So it's a really nice time just to go through all of your pieces, check that they do still fit, check that you want them to go back in rather than just piling them back in. But like I said earlier, I genuinely love my knitwear connection. Like, roll necks for me are always a staple. I wear them on the daily. I do love a good roll neck, so I'm gonna pile all those in one section, and then the rest of my chunky knits, I'm just gonna pile those in another, which is brilliant. It's definitely helped that I got organized in spring, summer, when I took all of these pieces out, because now it means when they're coming back out, they're all nice and neatly folded, which is brilliant. So I'm gonna make this my knitwear pile. It's absolutely spot on. Oh yeah, that's that section of my wardrobe clear. And I also have a completely clean drawer down there as well that I can use, which is brilliant. The last thing that I need to do in my wardrobe, you can see there is a gap underneath here. Oh my God, this is my denim collection. Quite excessive, I know. I need to shrink this down massively. There are a lot of items in here that I feel like can either go to charity or can be put away for summer jeans. Personally, I put these back every single time. Two pairs of black jeans, I think are brilliant. I have two purely just because if one's in the wash, I can wear the other pair. Absolutely spot on. These are fairly recent actually, these are ASOS and I got these in an autumnal haul and I think they're great. So they're gonna go back in two. These are some more skinny summer jeans. I feel like they can go into storage for definite, as can they. These are more of a darker wash Burton jean. Really, really like those, so they're gonna go back in. These are a skinny jean again, they can go away. These are gap denim, I do wear these a lot in autumn, so I'm going to be popping those back in again, a darker wash. These are a lighter pair of denim that I got from New Look, and they're cropped, so I think more of a summer piece for sure. These are my Levi jeans, really, really like them. Definitely going to pop those back in. They're wicked. Perfect. And the last pair of Levi jeans, these are 501s, they're awesome. Much better. That's actually looking somewhat more 
efficient now. Brilliant. Yeah, so this is the finished pile. This is a pile that I've got that is going to go to charity. And there are a couple of items in there that are on top that I'm going to gift to friends and maybe also sell online because um, they're quite like a high value item. And then this is the current situation of my actual wardrobe. And I love how streamlined that is. Obviously, this side is going to be a lot less full because these are literally just trousers, a couple of t-shirts and some shirt jacket. And then underneath, I've just got my denim and a pair of chunky trainers. I've decided to keep the chunky trainers. I feel like I might make some use out of them. I've actually got a drawer down here that's completely empty, which is just brilliant. So that's absolutely perfect. Um, I've got a sweater here and my raincoat at the back. A pile of t-shirts and like I said my other t-shirts are just in this drawer here the black white and grey ones but yeah there's literally everything and some spare hangers this side is a little more full but obviously this is my suit and, and my jacket so I might actually take some of those jackets out just to give the suits a bit more room and then down below I've just got my chunky knitwear some shoes and boots that I'm going to be wearing this is all of my loungewear I do like loungewear as you can see and this is just some more knitwear and that's literally it and then over here is everything from summer. So this was actually a case I got my pillows in. And it's really, really good because it compacts everything down. One of those two and a half litre tubs and all of my summer shoes. And actually these I might just pop in that spare drawer. These are my two Christmas jumpers. I've limited myself to two this year. So maybe they can go on here for now. Let's pop those in there. And we can worry about those when it comes to December. You'll be seeing that jumper very soon. But that's it guys, that is literally my autumnal capsule wardrobe. I feel very, very satisfied. It looks very streamlined, very neat, very tidy. I'm very, very happy with that. If you felt inspired and you felt like the tips that I've shared have helped you at all, let me know down below if you're gonna be doing your own little autumnal refresh. Would recommend it, I feel a lot less stressed now. I feel like getting ready on the morning is going to be a hell of a lot quicker than what it has been. <laughs> I'm also going to be linking Anna Mutant down below, also known as the Anna Edit on YouTube. She is absolutely brilliant. She's wrote a book called An Edited Life, which is absolutely fantastic about keeping organised. And she is the queen of wardrobe clearouts, autumn capsule wardrobes, capsule wardrobes in general, and will make you see clothing in a whole different way. So yeah, she's brilliant. I'm going to be linking her down below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that a little bit useful. As always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, it would be lovely if you did, and I will catch you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.